hello friends welcome back to another video tutorial in revit architecture 2024 for beginners i am architect sonu rai from gladi studio and in this studio video tutorial i am going to teach you about how to set work plane in revit and what is reference plane so if you go to your architecture here and you can see in ribbon panel in the last this is the work plane and if you go to your uh, level one you can see there is a reference plane which is uh, activated now and if you go to 3d view you will still see this in a fade color because we cannot set a reference plane in 3d view so i am going to my floor plan view and now you can see this is active so this is reference plane and if you look at the definition here it creates a reference plane using drawing tool so you will use uh, to draw a reference plane so you can use this in any level one and level two or whatever levels you have drawn you can create a reference plane and this is the set a work plane you can see this is the work plane like vertical plane horizontal plane so we need to uh, use this uh, work plane to efficiently uh, draw something suppose i want to draw some text here on this wall so i need a work plane to set this onto this wall so suppose i want to draw any kind of text so you can go here and set a work plane so you can look at the definition here is specify the work plane for the current view or for selected work plane based element so you can use this next one so work plane here so uh, if you'll see here this 3d view no work plane is visible but when you will click this one so work plane you can see your work plane where it is so you can view this work plane here so this is our work plane this one this is our work plane here so you can see this this is our work plane so this is horizontal so if you want to draw anything uh, suppose i want to uh, draw some 3d text here and i am going to draw this but you can see this uh, is drawing on our ground plane here because we have not set the work plane i want to draw this here but you can see this text is becoming horizontal so we cannot draw unless or until if you will set a work plane here so i want to draw on this wall so you can use this uh, you can click on this so here so work plane so this will be uh, shown in your view here when you will click once more this work plane will disappear so if you want to visualize you can always click this so your work plane so now i want to draw and i'm going to use this set of work plane here and you can also use this pickup plane so i'm going to click onto this set work plane here so now you can see this is work plane and current work plane is level one here so you can click on this so so this will shown here so now you can just cancel this this is level one our work plane so now i'm going to set a work plane and you can see here specify new work plane so you can find the name here so there are only two levels so this will be shown level one and level two and you can also pick up plane so suppose i want to draw in 3d view so i'm going to use this pick up plane so shortcut command is pk and this one is pick a line and use the work plane it was a sketch plane. so this is really used so basically you will use name and pick up plane so name uh, whatever the uh, levels will be mentioned here it will be shown here and uh, you can also rename your reference plane and that also will be reflected here so i'm going to pick a plane here and now i'm going to click ok and i want to pick this wall to write my text so i'm going to pick this plane and you can see this plane is visible or in a vertical plane mode and this is uh, showing on this wall so now we are ready to write a text here so you can go to architecture and i'm going to 3d text and i'm going to use model text here and now you can see we can easily place this uh, model text on this wall so th uh, this is the benefit of using a work plane in your project so in this uh, revit uh, this is very very handy the work plane so if you click 
once more this uh, work plane will disappear and we'll click once this work plane is visible here so whatever if you want to uh, use some extrusion here or uh, any kind of designing you will use work plane so later on we'll understand about the extrusion in revit so uh, in the previous class i have already discussed about model text so you can use this so this is the use of work plane and you can uh, use this uh, name and uh, pick a plane to set your work plane and this one is really used here so uh, you can see here name is basic wall generic 18 and you can also uh, set your work plane from level one so you can see this is a uh, level one uh, so it's becoming horizontal so by default in level one it is a horizontal plane only so uh, for setting work plane in vertical mode you can go to your 3d view and you can see here in 3d view this is showing horizontal so again if you want to uh, set your uh, plane you can uh, use this pickup plane and you can use any of this wall to write so suppose i want to uh, pick this uh, roof slope here so i'm going to pick a plane and now i'm going to pick this uh, uh, roof here and you can see this plane is uh, showing onto this roof here this inclined roof so you can uh, use this and you can write some text here suppose i want to write something here so you can see this is uh, on to this roof slope roof you can see this model text is visible here so this is the use of setting a work plane here so likewise you can use this uh, pick, set a work plane and pick a plane and this one is viewer so this is uh, a viewer of your work plane in uh, work plane viewer so this is active work plane this showing active work plane is here so this also you can use but mainly we'll focus on to this and the reference plane so because we cannot draw reference plane in 3d view so it is showing in inactive mode here so i'm going to my level one here and now you can uh, use this reference plane so you can create any reference plane so suppose i want to create a reference plane i want to create something here and i want to use this reference plane so you can use this line tool and you can also pick lines so suppose i am going to use this pick line and i am going to pick this wall as my reference plane and you can see here click to name click to name so i will always suggest to uh, name your uh, work uh, reference plane so that it will be easy and it will be reflected uh, in a uh, pick up plane when you will use this so now i am going to rename this as a xyz suppose i am going to use this xyz plane here and now you can see this work plane here and you can go to your 3d view and you can always set a work plane here and i am going to a name here and you can see this reference xyz is now reflecting here because i have renamed this so this is our plane and you can click ok and now you can see this work plane is active here onto this wall and you can write anything or you can create any design so i will use text only here so now you can see this model text is visible here so we can just rotate this 180 so we have set a reference plane here so once again i'm going to my level one and now i want to or something uh, i want to create some design here and i'm going to create a reference plane and now i'm going to create a plane here and we can select this and re rename this here or uh, incline plane you can rename anything if you want and now i am going to my 3d view and i am going to pick a plane and i am going to set a work plane here and we'll go to name and now you can see here reference plane incline plane so i'm going to select this incline plane and this is set here inclined here so you can see this is inclined here 
and see so you can create anything so suppose uh, if you want to draw something here so you can create a component here model in place so I'm going to show you some extrusion here and I will make another tutorial in coming class about extrusion and other tools so suppose I I want to extrude something here I'm going to use rectangle and you can simply extrude this and you can finish your model and now you can see this is inclined here so this is not a straight but this is inclined because this uh, reference plane is uh, sketched in this inclined mode only so this is in at angle so you can see this extrusion is also at angle so this is the use of reference plane so this is the basic introduction about how to set your reference plane you can reduce the size of reference plane here and you can see this can reduce this so this is the use of reference plane setting a reference plane and setting a work plane so you can sketch a reference plane and this you can set a work plane so if you rename this this will be reflecting in a set a work plane here when you go to name and you can find your reference plane here so this was the basic tutorial about reference plane and a work plane setting so hope you find this tutorial helpful so please like share and subscribe my channel in the next video tutorial i will come with some more interesting topics in revit 2024 for beginners so thanks for watching bye bye